All right, Adam, why don't you break them down a little of shits what's going on? I'll share the draft. All right, so uh, today's a special day, as you can already see. We got no snacks in the studio, so obviously very special. Great day. Please uh, welcome our good friend over here. We got Mr. Jackson. Welcome to uh, Fade the Public. He, uh, what, he win a monkey knife fight uh, giveaway from last year, so he's joining us today for a... Uh, we're going to do a little best ball draft. Most of you are familiar with the best ball on the underdog platform, so that's what we're going to be using today. And uh, we're all going to have our own teams, and we will be drafting. I don't know where we're drafting from yet because we're waiting for the spots to fill, but we will all be drafting our own teams. We'll be talking throughout the draft, and then after the draft, we'll talk a little bit about our teams, who has the best team, obviously me, and then you guys can also vote too You know, in the comments and you shit. Vote for who has the second best Whose team, team is your them. favorite? Whose team would you want to represent you if you were in a best ball tournament? Let's, um, let's uh, never lie on. We'll start the episode off again. Welcome. <laughs> all you have to What's do, cracking? All you have to do to sit where I sit is lose one bet on the NFC Championship game. It's yeah. that easy. It's a very low bar. Speaking so of easy. speaking of giveaways, last year was Monkey Knife Fights giveaway. This year is the Underdog Fantasy giveaway. And we have the BDGE NYC Draft Weekend rapidly approaching where one of you guys is actually going to come out to New York City and, and stay with us for the weekend in the Airbnb. Uh, unfortunately, you'll meet Animal. Uh, is that the last spot that's available? It's one spot left. The giveaway spot is the only spot the giveaway left. Giveaway spot is the only spot left, and Underdog Fucking is completely paying news. for your trip. That's also a uh, like a two hundred fifty dollars buy in league. So not only do you get to meet Animal in the flesh, but you get to play in a fantasy league with us. Uh, get to hang out for the weekend, and all you got to do is literally just go on Underdog Fantasy. Link will be the first thing in the description. When you deposit ten dollars on that beautiful platform. Uh, just use the promo code BDGE. They're going to give you 25 extra dollars on top of it, and you're going to be automatically entered into the giveaway. Now, I'm going to post the link into Discord. Tony, if I see your fucking ass in this league. Tony, don't don't you dare. It's going to be half the draft. It's going to be fucked. I think Tony should be welcome. Tony, give me your phone. I'm, I'm, well, you just lost your tryout. You're I out. I think, you know... We should challenge Nick to say. All right, we got one, two, three. They're Tony filling. Writes. They're okay. filling up, boys. One, two, three. One spot left. One left. We're good. Say Tony writes. Woo! All right, where do we get? Where do we get? Where are we? Where are we drafting for the one six? This is actually one of my favorite spots. Is Tony in here? Tony's fucking in here. You fired. All right. Fired oh, we got some. Okay. Fired faster than you were hired, buddy. We got animal at the ones. How'd you get the headband? Oh, you got you did the Snapchat. Yeah, I beat Jack. Dude, Jack sucks. Of course, I beat Jack. Jack su Jack's like literally the least sharp player. Honestly, that was the the like the first one they did that promo, and I think Jack like came in last. And everybody who I saw that he was in like the eleventh percentile or something. He did so shit. bad. Yeah. So like pretty much everybody got the headband. All right. So uh, I'm sitting here at the we, well, animal. You're the 106. Jackson 108. So I pick first. Tony the 109. Tony's I'm, not here. I'm the 110. We're Mason not, D and Senate. Senate's in this fucking. We're not acknowledging Tony. Um, all right, yeah, send it. I know him, too. He's in the Discord. Yeah. He drops good little nuggets in the Discord. He's my sons. So the 1-6, this is actually one of my favorite spots to draft from every year, just blind. Like, if, if you told me every year without doing any mock drafts, like, hey, Animal, like, 12-team league, you got to pick one spot. Where are you picking from? 1-6. This year, I feel like it fucking stinks. Well, no, what I'm saying is every year, it doesn't matter. That's a spot that I feel comfortable drafting in just because you're getting an even... You're getting the steady pick, everyone. Just you're in the middle of the draft. You pick an but even. Just watch what happens to you now. It's gonna go Kamara and then Zeke, and then you are gonna be sitting there at one six, having to take a fucking tight end or a wide receiver. Yeah, shit, this isn't good. Kamara and then Zeke, the sharps. Henry, Henry. There you go. There you oh, go, buddy. Shit. Here's the spot that you asked for. All right. Yeah. All right. Fuck. I don't want to take Austin Eckler at the one six. Do I it. hate this spot. Yeah. What happened? I told you. One six used to be a gold mine. Oh, man. We're going to go wide receiver here because I hate my life. I'm going to go Devontae Adams because you really can't can't miss with Devontae. And that's that. It's early. I don't want to do it. But Bad pick. Here's the thing with best ball. You got to be a little different. You got to differentiate. So it's, you just make bad picks? That's how you differentiate? If everyone's making good picks. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Dylan, David Lee on the clock. 
So we've got the five running backs off the board. We're going to start seeing about nine more running backs probably because it's every – I think you should take uh, – I don't want help. DeAndre Hopkins here. You think so? Yeah. So, That's a good pick. Jackson, I have to ask you a question here. What's up? Um, do you have any type of strategy going into this, or are no. you just going to like go Pick with the flow? Players. That's it? Pick Not like I'm going to try and execute a zero RB strategy here. No. Tony's on the clock. If I did, bitch. that would Well, Tony's just going to take 10 running play. backs. Interesting pick. Fuck. That was going to be my pick. He knew, he knew what was going on here. Like I won't take Travis Kelsey here. I might, I might get real spicy. No, nah, I won't. Fuck that. Uh, How spicy. What are we thinking? What are you looking at? Running back, wide receiver? Yeah, running back. I'm going to go with Nick back. Chubb. David Montgomery. I like it. I don't hate it. I'll take Nick Chubb at the 110. Uh, with Jonathan Taylor news, with Quentin Nelson out, Carson Wentz dead. It's just there's nothing appealing there, and there's no appealing running backs really left on the board that I'm okay with taking at the 110. I'll never take a tight end in the first round, so get me the fuck off, Kelsey. <laughs> Last time I tried to take Terry Kill this early and stack him with Mahomes, I missed. Actually, I think I got that stack, but I don't want to do it again. Are we at all nervous about Terry Kill now? With the tendonitis in the knee? I didn't even see that. It happened today. Oh, no. He uh, left, like, uh, practice early as knee tendonitis. Well, Mason D, you're a fraud then. And that is, uh, so Anthony Davis had tendonitis in his Achilles, and that was what kept him out for most of the year. Hmm. So it's something that, like, it's a nagging injury that, like, causes a lot of pain. You don't have to worry about him, like, not being able to play because, like, a, you know, he has to rehab for six months. It's more of a... It's like an Amari Cooper situation where it's nagging. Go off, King. I'm just like I'm go, I'm, go the fuck. I'm, off. I'm nervous about Tyreek Hill. Uh, I haven't seen anything, so let me. Uh, I'm not making this up either. No, like I, I kind of believe you. Oh, I, I mean, I feel like dot. you should. I saw the red dot on the little news thing. I was like, I wonder what that is. No, this yeah, is real news, right. and it's, it's concerning because the guy is a top two wide receiver for me, like easily. He's easily my for wide sure. receiver. He's, right He's the one. If Devonte Adams, yeah, if Devonte Adams didn't Devonte have Rodgers come back, he was the one. Interesting. Nick is going to make it back around. Oh fuck, buddy. Okay, so I'm on the clock now. We started off with Nick Chubb. Uh, Senate, just such a bad pick with Jonathan Taylor there. You're fired. You're no longer in the government. Calvin, I think I like Calvin Ridley here a little bit. I might push it on a running back, but... You already got one. Don't go, don't go crazy. Oh, because um, you want one. Because <laughs> you want one. <laughs> you know. Kind of like Gibson here. Uh, Words of wisdom. Yeah, Gibbs, Gibson at the turn. It's like my dream. I'm in at Gibson there. So yeah. I went with Chubb and Gibson. Two guys that I think uh, are th they're thick. They're both thick, and they're both fast, and they're both breakaway runners, and they're both the starters on their team. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hoping you're picking a starter when you're at the 110 and 23, but I don't know. Animal, thoughts on my stack? I know I know you do. I, I, I do like it. One would come back Obviously, I would have loved to, for him to fall to me. I don't think he would I've, have. I've but. never drafted this player, but I feel like I have to at this point. <sighs> like, just take Kelsey. Kel in the second. Two five? Yeah, I'm not mad. Yeah, about that. I was going to take him. I would never do it, but I'm not mad yeah, that you no. did it. My I, normal strategy I, you know, is like variety is the spice of life, though. You gotta, is robust you RB. Like I'm a big like just draft three, four running backs right away. So f when it comes to best ball now, lately I've been trying to switch it up a little bit. I actually just did a zero wide receiver uh, draft the other night, thanks to Peter Overzet. So thank you, Pete. A zero wide receiver draft. Or yeah, zero running back zero draft. running back draft. Uh, thanks to Peter Overzet. Watch one of his videos. Oh, all right. This is an easy slam for me. We got J.K. Dobbins. I get my first running back in the second round. Over Calvin Ridley? Yeah. Really? Because I need a running back. So after this, the drop-off is, is there. You know, it's guy, Chris Carson. Guy picks for need in a best ball draft. That's not how you win. Well, here's what I... I think J.K. Dobbins has RB1 upside. Easily RB1 potential. Everyone's going to be sleeping on him, but the guy has touchdown upside unlike any other running back on any other team. That's absurd. It's not. Uh, Derrick Henry. Aaron Jones. No. Aaron Derrick Jones Henry. has had like 17 touchdowns. Derrick Henry. Two years ago. Derrick Henry has the most touchdown upside than J.K. Dobbins. No. Yeah. I just named a guy who had 17 rushing touchdowns two years ago. Nah. You can't just say nah when I'm telling nah, you Nah, it's not him, baby. I'm telling you not this year. Fact, it's a new year, news. and these new things happen. You get new developments and uh, new schemes. J.K. Dobbins. Literally What's no new scheme development or scheme. Day? Yeah. You got the It's not school. new. That's the point. And what about Baltimore? <laughs> it's new. Is it? <laughs> New enough. What are they running this year? Yeah. <laughs> Look, JK didn't have a full season last year, so anything extra now is just new. It's 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 it doesn't count. It's new. It's 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 different. It makes zero sense. It doesn't have to make the sense. Fact for that it the sharp got Ridley at two eight, it pisses me off now. Yeah, Ridley at the two eight's good, but you know what's really good? Russell Gage at the twelve eight. That's what's fucking really good. No, nah, because you can't draft Matt Ryan. He's undraftable. <laughs> I do have a um, 
a one best ball mania with a uh, Falcons stack. It's got Matt Ryan, Russell Gage, Calvin Ridley, Don't say and Kyle Pitts. Okay, really? Yeah, that's interesting. I like it was it, when we were in Miami. I did it. So when they win the Super Bowl, you're gonna be really a millionaire. Happy. A lot of bad manias happened in, in <laughs> Miami. <laughs> I have a. I have a, a Matt Ryan Falcons one. I also have a Carson Wentz Indianapolis Colts one. So it's not oh, yeah. going too well. I forgot I have Carson Wentz in the fishbowl. That wasn't good. Yo. When they win in week five, you're going to be even happier. Fuck. <laughs> All right. So who we got going off the board here? Uh, that's, an interesting, that's an interesting back-to-back-to-back uh, picks, pick area there. Swift at the 3-1. Carson at the 3-2. Montgomery at 3-3. How do, you, how do you rank those three running backs, Animal? Swift, Carson, Montgomery. I would go for redraft purposes. Is that what we're talking about here? Obviously, because it's best ball. I'd probably go Carson, Montgomery, and Swift. I think that's... Mm. Yeah, that's probably about what I would have as well. There was a report that came out today that someone was like... They're like, Swift is the bell cow in Detroit. It was like a beat reporter. Swift is the bell cow in Detroit. Jamal Williams carving out a nice passing role. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yeah. this is what Jamal Williams signing there was, carving yeah. out roles to piss off Swift. Yeah, I uh, my biggest problem with Swift is he's a Lions running back. Everyone's go look animal. That's like terrible analysis. You're about to clock out. Oh shit. Yep. Who'd I get? George. Oh, Kittle. George Kittle. That's not bad. It's not good though. I didn't really want George Kittle. No one's gonna tell me I was on the clock. I didn't realize it. This is fucking. I didn't realize. Tony it. knew. I saw it. I saw it. I didn't realize. You it had until, a mic until four, if you yeah. had a mic. It's called your fucking. Yeah. Mouth. It's called the fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm right here. We can't hear you, man. You don't have a mic. <laughs> so this isn't terrible because I did want a tight end early in this draft. It just, I don't know if I would have went with Kittle. Is Waller still there? Kittle's a guy I feel like we're all just going to look back on this year and be like, he just shit on us. Waller's not there. No, nah, Waller went off the board early. All right, so then I would have taken Kittle anyway, so it's fine. I hope, I, uh, who the fuck do I even want here? Hmm. You know what the problem with Kittle is? He's one of those guys where it's like, he didn't have a bad year last year. He was just hurt and this obviously I everything. Took the stack. I should have took Tariq and uh, went Patty comes into play but it leaves a bad taste in your mouth and you're like uh oh, kittle uh. i actually i don't like that pick i don't want kittle yeah no fuck my team's fucked tony nice pick on robinson you cunt all right so keenan allen goes off the board after george kittle then we got allen robinson and then we got nick is on the clock this now this is a horrible spot to be in there's like no one good to pick Oh, Keenan Allen, Allen Robinson, and then Terry Tony McLaurin. Just, Tony just, just edits my videos Henderson. and then takes the guys. Yeah, I was going to say, Tony just really took Terry, who we know Nick is a fan of. Well, I literally just made a video yesterday. It was like, if he gets him in the third round, I'll pick him. Tony's just a cunt. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I'm, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I panicked. Are you going to time out? <laughs> I mean, it's early. I mean, I actually don't know if it's early. It's just I don't Dude, know if I like Mike Evans. I don't really like, like him either. Underdog's ADP is is it's weird. It's gotten too too good. It's not. It's too good to the point you can't draft anymore because everyone's fucking sucks. Dude, the problem with Mike Evans is another one that's like he's gonna be good and like he's gonna have a good year and you're gonna be fine. It's just like you don't like the picks. It's not sexy. No, he doesn't give you the. I don't need sexy picks. Like I Nick, need sexy. Nick Chubb is not sexy. Per Nick se. Chubb is so sexy. At one ten, he's a good looking Every, guy. Uh, he's Nick not Chubb a sexy is fantasy pick. Nick Chubb has literally. Like I was saying before, J.K. Dobbins could be the RB1. I Nick bet you Chubbs. Antonio Brown has more catches than Mike Evans this year. The uh, fact that you even have to think about that and they're like a nine-round gap in between each other is like... That's the problem. Is but, the fucking problem. But I bet you Mike Evans has double-digit touchdowns and Antonio oh, fuck, Brown doesn't. on the clock again. That's where you get the difference. You're paying for the touchdown upside in the red zone with Mike Evans. But yeah, you took Mike Evans before Chris Godwin. Is that, nothing that, is that something that you would normally do? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah? I feel like Godwin's like... Give me a little T. Lizzie here. He's the guy there. You have to go Godwin over ah, Evans. I feel like he's like the best NFL player they have, but he's not going to be the better fantasy. fantasy. That's yeah. fair. Like Antonio Brown will probably lead him in receptions. Mike Evans in touchdowns. Maybe Godwin in yards, but I don't know. It's like there's no reason to guess. Just take the latest one. And the fact that Brown is just so far later than Great pick, else. Tone. Nah, cup over Woods all day. Nah, Robert Woods, he's just... Easily. He's, he's getting like too much... Uh, spotlight, obviously, because of Matt Stafford coming there. Which is why you take Cup, because he's a touchdown guy. Yeah, not to... No, I don't take Cup. Piggyback off of that, but I'm doing that. Great pick. You're a new wow. You're hired. <laughs> Tony, fired. Here we go. All right, so I actually am coming up soon. I will start looking as to who I will pick. Oh, the running backs are, 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 are done. There's no running backs left to take. There haven't been any running backs to take yeah. since, like, the 3-6. I'm going to take another wide receiver here just because, like, 
Why not? Why don't you take Miles Sanders? Yeah, I think I'm gonna take T. Higgins. Really? Actually, I might take Jamar. I'm just assuming Jamar Chase is gonna go here. Nope. Nope. All right, DJ yeah, Moreland. Shit. What do we think? Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. I like T. I've, Higgins. I've come around to Jamar Chase over Higgins. I think. Really? For this year, yeah. I think I like both of them. I think they'll probably finish near the same spot statistically. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that. And I'm going to go with Jamar Chase because I have T. Higgins in a couple already. So switch it up a little bit. Diversity, a little diversify the revenue here. Uh, Jamar Chase. I'm going to stack wide receivers this draft. That's going to be my plan. I'm really fucking pissed off that Jack got his own avatar. What, and you didn't? Yeah. What would you have, though? I don't know why Jack has a headband. Is that like something he does? I'm not sure. Does he wear headbands? I don't know. If I've, they gave like you're like a dog with glasses. That's fine. I would take anything at this point. It's like a big dog. <laughs> just like it the, fills up the, the whole, whole circle. Yeah. The whole circle is just black. You yeah. actually can't tell what yeah. it is. It's yeah. so big. That'd be sick. Yeah. I'll ask you what it is. It's uh, just it's a, a black dog. circle. You just can't, you can't see I it. want the underdog. I want the numbers. I want I want to know who's pulled in the most people, who's pulled in the most numbers so far this summer. If Jack has more numbers than me, you can put a cat as my fucking picture. Ooh. Kyler Murray off the board. One of the one of the quarterbacks I was actually gonna I love that try and get because he took D hop at the two ten. A nice, it's a nice stacky stack. I just love Kyler Murray's upside. As, Same, like I, literally, there's no reason. Like he finishes uh, QB one this year. I'm okay. Yeah, I expected that. I almost like think he might. Yeah, like I'd almost put a little money on it. His rushing upside is insane, and he's got a big arm, and he's got a fucking great offense. He's got a lot of weapons. Like, there's really nothing to. I like uh, I like Nihat's team a lot. Dalvin Cook, DK Metcalf, Chris Carson, Brandon Ayuk. Pretty sexy start. Yeah, I don't, is DK a guy that you're slowly starting to, starting to not like? No. Oh, starting to, to, like, to like him more? more. Oh, I, think, I think he could finish as the wide receiver one overall. Really? Yeah, I don't think he has a chance. Outside. I think he has a chance to be the wide receiver one for like three or four weeks. I think you're underestimating him as a route runner. I am, 100%. You are. Right I'm literally, He's a good separator. I said before he was even drafted whoever's that little Jordan three. Humphrey was better than him. So Whoever's 5'3 just got a good spot on Higgins, I feel like. Yeah, seeing as I almost just took Higgins fucking like four picks yeah. ago. Yeah, I'm just going to stack wide receivers. I got one good running back, and that's it. That's how a lot of my drafts have gone on. I've been the dog. opposite. Like, I get, like, a like no more than five or six running backs, and then I just have, like, 12 wide receivers, and all of them have, like... Mm. Oh, like, no! You are trying to get Darrell? I wanted Thielen. Ew. I love Thielen this year. Nah. It's a stinky pick. <sighs> He's like, here's the problem, like, when it gets messy here now, like... Michael Thomas, Robbie Anderson, Chase Claypool, Odell Beckham. I hate them all. Jerry Judy's the next guy, but like it's too early for him. But I have to do it because I'm about to time out. Five six. I didn't wow. want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I wish this was like the Scott Fishbowl where they were able to export a chart of like the earliest <laughs> any player has been picked in all their drafts. <laughs> you think that's that's very early for Jerry Judy? I did not. want I think to do they that. filled in fifteen thousand puppy drafts in the last twenty four hours or something like that. You know, they open up the the guaranteed prize pool of the puppy it's a five dollar buying one no oh. it's like the the the, the mania is 25 dollars. yeah the puppy is five dollars same thing but just a much less expensive Smaller prize and i think they filled out like ten thousand drafts in the last 24 hours yeah, they're gonna make a killing and i don't think jerry judy went as early in any of those as Ye- right now look i admit that was way too early i didn't want to do it but i was about to time out that's what every and it was like him or like. fucking michael thomas it was like the auto pick so you like, take an mt i'm not gonna take michael thomas who's no not even gonna play that was a panic pick Ew. Huge. Ew. And then, and then you got Broncos going early all over the place. It, we got Broncos going early everywhere. The fucking washing machine's going to explode. Dude, it, it goes <laughs> insane. In Between here. that and the almost timing out right there, I oh, almost had fucking, a heart attack. Oh, boy. I almost had a whole uh, heart attack. All right, all right, all right. Nick, let me ask, let me ask you this. Before you do that. No, let me just ask you real quick, real quick. Real quick. Why is Lamar Jackson's ADP 22 spots above Russell Wilson? Like, I want to take Russell Wilson here because I have Tyler Lockett, but, like, I also just... You shouldn't reach for the stacks. Yeah, I know. You don't do that. I'm taking Lamar. You don't reach for the stack. Didn't, uh, Lamar just got COVID for the second time. That's good, man. I just, I disagree with that. That's good. You won't get it a third time. <laughs> Guaranteed. No <laughs> chance, bro. I remember Lightning people last year were asking, like, is it a good thing if your players get COVID in the summer? Like, hell yeah, bro. They got the antibodies. That's what we yeah. thought. We're except, like, for yeah. the, except for, like, they're going to die. Like, yeah, they won't get it again. Yeah. They can't, it's going to suck all year. They just can't breathe. <laughs> it's yeah. going to suck ass all year. Larry Fitzgerald's BMI is lower than it's ever been. 
<laughs> All right, Mike so here's Davis, the, this yeah. is interesting. <laughs> What's Mike Davis's ADP? I mean, he just went off at the five twelve. I feel like that's very early for him. Uh, I saw him in a lot in the early fifth, a lot of a lot of times. I hate that pick so much. ADP of fifty seven. That's right. F. That's like middle fifth. Round. I hate that. He went. He he got hiked way too much. I mean, the situation. Oh fuck! I'm biking on the clock. He got hyped up way too much, Mike Davis. Watch out for Mike Davis as your guys. Went. Thank you, because Santa's a cunt, of course. All right, at the 6-3, oh boy. Don't be getting trapped with Mike Davis, guys. <laughs> Who set this camera up? Am I even on it? Dude, I don't even know if the camera's on. This is my first time taking Robbie Anderson in a year. Two years. Maybe. Oh, I actually just did a, um, a poll with Robbie Anderson, Debo Samuel, PPR, Robbie won. Very close. Really? It's like 57%. I think I'll take Debo there. I agree. That's why I did it. I I, I tried to uh, have one guy that I for sure know I like more in the poll. And then... Um, <laughs> I was just like... Oh. Whatever you're saying. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we can see me? Yeah. All right, sick. That's all that matters. Not anymore. Oh, Jack, uh, Jackson on the clock? I'm stuck between ETN and Michael Thomas. Imagine taking a... Dude, don't right back take back Michael support. Thomas. I'll tell you that right now. Did it? Don't. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Jackson. god! Don't. I was I being. Be good, man. I was being sincere. Uh, you know, I really had high hopes for you, uh, bringing more heat than snacks. But Michael Thomas. Am I supposed to take OBJ over him? Anyone other than Michael Thomas? You got zeros in your lineup play. for eight weeks. Yeah. You think it's eight? I think Min- it's going to be minimum. Like Fourteen, to be honest. I'm going to take uh, Aaron Rodgers here. This he's year. literally the best quarterback in the league. He's going to score a ton of points, and, uh, and now I have Aaron Rodgers. Love that. Is that how you just do all your fans? You're just like, this guy's going to score a ton of points. <laughs> I think this guy throws touchdown passes, so I'll take I, uh, If you want to draft against Animal and literally just make positive ROI all summer, download the Underdog app. Use the promo code BDG. They're going to give you $25 free dollars on top of your account. Look, I'm putting together a squad here, all right? Yeah. I've like, got a quarterback. Physically, everybody. Is. I've got a running back. I've got some wide receivers. I've got every position filled already. I like that 6'8 pick sharp, TJ. I like his team a lot. Wait, is TJ? No, the Sharp. Oh. TJ Hawkinson, I meant. Oh, I was going to say, who is the Sharp? That's a cool name. It ain't you. You think they got it from me? And that, dude, they drafted Miles Sanders. <laughs> sharp? Yeah, like the 4-8, though. They don't even have a quarterback, the most important position on the field. Stupid. Oh, 6-10, Cortland Sutton going a full round after Jerry Judy. <laughs> I, I got to tell you. <laughs> Uh, I'm worried about Sutton with the knee reports. Me too. Very, As a Broncos like fan who reads a lot of shit, yeah, I'm nervous that he's gonna either come back and like fuck something up again, or he's, he's gonna, gonna have like, to wait like three yeah. or four weeks to get even going and yeah. like not be himself the whole season. I'm not in on Sutton at all right yeah. now. I'm slowly Which makes off me Sutton. higher on Judy. I agree. Yeah, but I also and yeah, I'm, so well I'm higher on Tim Patrick. Though. No one's drafting Tim Patrick. No one's even talking about him. What? Is that sarcasm? Oh yeah. <laughs> but Tim Patrick, watch out for him. Yeah, no, I'm good. Watch out. Okay. Oh, my foot's cramping. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Oh. 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 Dude, that was tough. Foot cramp. Kareem Hunt at the 7-1. Thoughts, comments, concerns? I don't, I don't like it. I think it's a little early for an RB2. Borderline RB3. Um, and this is why, like, you know, this is what happens when you get these drafts. You get messy when you don't take, like, at least one RB early. That's why I got J.K. Dobbins out of the way. I don't feel the need to grab a guy like fucking Chase Edmonds and make him <laughs> my, my <laughs> RB1. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is... Why I like to cape up and grab my RB early. You, you grab J.K. Dobbins like 15 spots ahead of ADP. <laughs> He's the only running back on your roster right now. Yeah, dude. Because like, what like happens is... That would make sense in any fucking capacity if you started off with like two to three running backs. You have the least running back heavy team on the fucking board right now. But, so here's what happened. If you don't take any running backs at all in like the first three rounds, yeah. you're screwed and you have to take a guy but like what fucking Chase that? Edmonds no as your RB1. I'm on the clock, you fucking rats. Ugh. I like Kareem Hunt at 701 a lot more than I like Damian Harris at 703. I'll say that much. Uh, I like both of them at those spots. I'm actually a huge fan of Harris. But Kareem Hunt's obviously way more comfortable picking there. That team's just going to be so run heavy. Oh, oh no! They get it! 
No! <laughs> Dude, your team is trash. It's the auto trash. Then fucking pick a player. I'm Q- trying to take James Robinson. Cue it up. Oh, you saved yourself. Dylan and David Lee. He's got a knee sprain, my guy. Devonta Smith, done. Fuck. Odell? Pressure. 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 It's going to be such a bad Don't take James Robinson, Jackson. I want him to smile. (laughs) No. Wait, hold on. Let me take a guess who you're going to take. I got to start queuing some guys up. I was thinking about Antonio Brown, though. Just a little little early. A little much. Four rounds. I think four picks, actually, is what the ADP says. (coughs) Yeah. Are you not going to bless me? (laughs) Nah. Just said, yeah. Salud. Shit, this is this might be the um, the least. I don't want to say prepared. I'm gonna say like least focused. I've been during any uh, best ball draft. I've already had two auto picks. You've so had as many auto picks as you've had bottles of whiskey today. <laughs> <laughs> I've maybe had one auto pick in my entire best ball career. I feel like underdog. Can you guys fact check that? Fact check it, please. They'll, they got it. They, they have know. that on record for sure. I'm sure they do. I fucking... <laughs> Senate, does anyone I talk about, Senate just drafts two rounds earlier the next time I draft with him every yeah, fucking know, time. You ain't fucking getting them. I didn't want him. Tunyon, great pick. A little early, but great pick. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I love Tunyon. Ooh. As soon as I talk about fucking six rounds early. All right, so we're starting the eighth round. Senate starts off with Brandon Cooks. That Odell pick really just kind of fucking threw me. Were you saying you don't like taking handcuffs in best ball? Best ball, no. Are you just like trying to queue up all your handcuffs to piss me off? I'm just thinking. I'm in my brain. <sighs> and Nick, you're up in like three picks. What are you thinking about? Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you thinking about <laughs> taking? Talk to me. Oh, LaVisca Schnault went at the 8 2. Oh, this, is, this was stupid. This was a dumb move by me. And I Nick, I talk about <laughs> a player to, one time Antonio and you take Brown? Him immediately before my next After pick. we just said it was too early? No, I didn't say it was too early for Antonio Brown. I did. Oh. Uh, I said it. Well, that's not why. I should have... Uh, I already had Mike Evans, so I should have taken instead of Tyler Boyd, Antonio Brown, then Tom Brady, or vice versa. So I can have Brady, Evans, Brown. And now, uh, where's fuckboy Senate pick? Actually, I'm up before he is, but I know one of you fuckers are going to take Tom Brady. Probably Tony. I already have a quarterback, so I don't need uh, Tom Brady. Whatever. I'm over you. Uh, why do I see McCall Hardman's name? Or like Ronald. Oh, well, he's got double sniped. Yeah, I did. I do love both of those players, to be honest with you. I love Jarvis Landry, so fuck you. You're on the clock. Uh, I don't care. I know. I see it. I got 15 seconds. I don't care. I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the guy that I was going to take last take pick. Take Jalen Waddle. A guy that everyone's Smash like pick. low on for no reason. He's going to get 1,000% of the carries. It doesn't Bonte matter. Parker. Um. You think he's going to get more carries this year with Travis Etienne on the team? And Carlos Hyde? Yeah. And Trevor Lawrence? Yeah. I love that math. Yeah. I just, look, he's going to have a little regression. What's regression from RB4? What's regression to a king? Like What what was he, the RB4 last year? Maybe. Like, what's regression? Uh, Okay, he's going to go to the RB6, 7, 8? You think he's going to be a fucking RB6? RB12. No, he's not going to be an RB1, you psycho. RB12. (laughs) Why not? (laughs) I can sit here for about 20 minutes and tell you why not. You can, but then when it happens in the season, what do you say? This is what I need to happen. I need to, to get to the here. point where when the season happens, I'm sick of this shit. I say something, everyone goes, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, because we, we play in fantasy football leagues later, together, and, and then no you go one, one in, about it. And then you go one in 13. That's what fucking happens Dude, on camera. It's one you league. Uh-huh. One the, league the out only, of seven. I lost the, one league. The only league. That it happens. Matters. It's literally the first time I've ever lost you fantasy go, football. Hold up, hold up, hold up. In like 20 fucking years. Hold up. I've never lost a league ever. You never won a league. But I never lost. Okay. And also, for, like, majority of my fantasy lifetime career, I was in one league. I was in, like, everyone, like, oh, I'm in you sound 18 like the guy, You sound like dudes that email me. They'll be like, Nick, I'm going to join your brand because I'm so good at fantasy football. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Well, no, this, I'm not good at fantasy football. That's I'm just saying. That's clearly what the, the standard is. you got to be good at fantasy football. That's Yeah, <laughs> it's the opposite of what we're going for. It's not our branding here. And you're like, I wish you guys could, like, document what we, I say in the off season so that it sounds good in the season. Like, literally, that's what we do. We have a fucking podcast. Yeah, but the problem is when I'm right about something, it never gets talked about. It's only the stuff that I'm wrong. You want to know why? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm right about a lot of stuff exactly. that just goes unnoticed. It gets un- it just gets thrown in the back. I'll never forget Allen Robinson. Ever down the shore. 
It's my number one go-to. I said Allen Robinson, you, big you comeback. Called you, you, Robinson. you called him done. You said his career was already over. Yeah, because he was dumb. And what happened? A fucking great year that year. And too bad you didn't pick Now him. he's a fucking great fantasy player. You didn't draft him. Thanks anywhere. to me. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just> stupid. <laughs> I fucking revived Allen Robinson's whole career. I'm pretty sure you told me you were going to bury me after I said, like, Allen Robinson, comeback player. Do you know why? It was because I drafted him, I think, the year yeah, that he tore his ACL. One week terrible into the, that one, year. one game or catch into the season. It was the, actually... No, and then he had a full year after that, I think. He did, but he wasn't, like, recovering. He wasn't good, I yeah. think I drafted him both years. Yeah. That's why I hated him so much. Because it was, like, th- that's, like, the same thing with Cortland Sutton this year. Like, you got to be careful with those guys that are coming off those big knee injuries. Because, like, yeah, they're healthy, but they're not, like, 100% back to themselves. They don't feel right, so they don't play right. It just, you don't get the consistency you need. All right, I'm coming up on the clock here at the 9-6. Uh, Tony, what are we thinking for me? I'd right. trade out of this fuck pick off. if I was you. Same. I'll give you a future fourth. McCall Hardman's looking pretty good. What? No, I'm just kidding. Dude, Juju's falling pretty fucking far, huh? This is the farthest I've seen him drop, the 9-7. I went with Melvin Gordon because everyone's going to... I need a running back. I like, uh, I like I, that I, pick. I need, he's going to start for at least six games, so yeah. I'll take him. I don't hate it. I honestly love our O-line this year as the Broncos. Uh, we've just completely kind of upped our entire team except for the quarterback position. So should be interesting to see how that plays out for the fantasy players uh, Ooh, around Marquise there. Marquise Brown, serious hamstring injury. He's an, a, absolutely off the board. He wasn't on the board. Yeah, dude, 9-9. <laughs> nine, nine, and you fucking morons let Brady fall back to me? Unbelievable. Juju. Yeah. Fools. I don't hate Juju. I was a guy who liked Juju last year and got shit on, so. For good reason. What's different? He stunk last year. What's well, different this year? He like, didn't he sink still, last year. Points really. per game, he was like 29. <clears throat> yeah. Shit, he was terrible. Points per game, no good. This year, they're just going to have a lower overall passing volume because Najee Harris is there. Ooh. Well, Pittsburgh you stack? Pittsburgh. You have to take Ben. Uh, no wonder you're holding out on quarterback because Ben's going to be sitting there right before you. All right. So, ooh. Wait, did Fournette go before Rojo? No, Rojo. No, Rojo went. Rojo went yeah, like a couple I got sniped on man. Rojo. That's right. Santa takes David Johnson. I was gonna say, woo. <clears throat> you guys see, um, the Houston Texans got new locker rooms. They deserve it. They're such a good team. Yeah, well, obviously. Senate goes with Ryan Tannehill to close out the tenth round. To close out the ninth round to start the tenth round. Uh, to start the tenth round. That's right. He's got the tenth Marvin J. All right, we are bike. I got five. Wide receivers. I don't know. How are we feeling about uh, no fan? I like him. I He's mean, I don't know who else is there, though. I'm not bought on that. what you just said to me. Zach Moss, Gus Edwards. Gus is out with COVID. I kind of like Zach Moss. That was my next one. That's what I was Oh, you can do it, too? Okay, never mind. <sighs> my guy is still there, so I'm good. Devin Singletary? Yeah, I actually like Singletary more than Moss this year. I know. Yeah, I put that on the some kind of checklist. I know. Go back and look at the takes. After yeah, it. that's good. Yeah, when we go back and we'll see. You know, imagine Tony just for once didn't take a guy. I was just talking about. So don't take him. Yeah. All right, Pollard in the tenth. The backup. <laughs> no big deal. Animal. Who are your running backs? I got three. I didn't ask how many. I got J.K. Dobbins, James Robinson, and Melvin Gordon. Studs. So no starters. Dude, my team's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself saying that after every time I do like a live stream. <laughs> Too fuck it. I'm on so the clock bad. now, too, with McCall Harbin staring at me in the face. All right. Actually, what I'm going to do here is, oh, no. Oh, no. I got seven seconds. Oh, no. Can't oh, fucking no. click it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong with you? Just make the fucking Get the pick. fucking big head. It's not going to... Nicole Hartman, you got him. I didn't want him. I thought you said you did. No, I'm trying to. I'm using my. Cause I'm using my left hand. Use the queue. Put players in the fucking queue. I don't have anyone in the queue. That's Fuck. What, clearly, who did you want? Pittman. Why? Stud. I don't care about when. Fucking. I don't care. Two and a half on an offense with no QB. So like, so he was getting picked in the tenth round, prior to the Wentz injury, and you're just gonna pick him in the same spot. Yeah, he's not gonna change. Targets are gonna stay the same. 
No, honestly, I was looking for uh, running backs, and I just couldn't pick one because mm. there aren't any. I do have a guy here who I like late, but I don't want to say him because I'm worried that you guys will try and snipe him from me. But his name is J.D. McKissick. Oh, <laughs> Look, I, have, I have a lot of J.D. on my on I my think team. he's like a, a super sleeper. Like For for that team, yeah, Antonio Gibson is going to be uh, be the starter, obviously. But Kizik's a great pass catcher. Yeah. He's not like, I feel like people look at McKissick like he's James White or Theo Riddick. Like he just catches it and falls down. He's like, a, he was a wide receiver in college. Yeah, no, he's player. a good pass catcher. And the fact that Antonio Gibson has that turf toe that I think is going to some, sometime in the season, I don't know when, come back and fuck him up a little bit and fucking maybe fuck, uh, take a week or two away from him. JD McKissick, I just, I just, I like him as a late round sleeper. So don't take him. Some real shit. Don't take him because I need him. I need him. My team's hurting. I'm going to take him. See, Michael Pittman just went to 10 10. Great pick. Mm. Carson Wentz going down might actually be good. Same guy who took Corlin Sutton. When Wentz plays, he actually doesn't even throw pat. He doesn't even throw touchdowns to wide receivers. That's true. All right. So, oh, Nelson Aguilar at the 10 12. I'll tell you what, I fucking like that pick a lot. He's the wide receiver one there, whether you guys want to admit it or like it or like it or not. Like, he's the guy there. Nelson Aguilar. He's going to have fans. He's going to be fantasy relevant. I disagree. He's going to be fantasy relevant this year, whether you like it or not. What about, what about Jacoby Myers? I do like Jacoby Myers, but I just think the problem with the uh, the Patriots are there with, with Cam kind of makes him a little one-dimensional. So sure. That's why the only player that's worth rostering on the team is Jonu Smith. I love Jonu this year. I like Cam this year, too. <sighs> I know Dude, you don't like Dude, the problem it. with Cam... What's the problem with Cam? I, the rushing upside is great with the touchdowns, but as soon as that dies down... He's going to be better throwing the ball this year. Yeah, a little bit, but he's never been that good at throwing the ball. No, he hasn't been. He's but never he's been. better than what he was last year after COVID. Like, I he was think fine he'll be like one of those guys who'll have a great like eight weeks and then like fucking fall off. And like, yeah, it's good for your team to help you get where you need to go, but like, I don't think he's going to help you win. Like win, the league, like win your league. Probably like, not, but you're getting him literally in like the 18th round. Of shit in best ball. I'm on the clock again. Why are you looking at us like it's our fault? Uh, I'm going to go. I don't even know the fuck. Jacoby Myers? No, I'm not out of time, right? Yeah, you are. No! No! (laughs) You got McKissick. McKissick. The only guy in my queue! (laughs) So why are you angry? You just spent 45 seconds talking about McKissick. Yeah, I wanted him in like the 15th round. Yeah, no, that's not how it works. Sucks. You suck. Shit, dude. The clock goes really fast in this. JD McKissick. Okay, we got Tony's just Wondell Moore, great pick. Huh? Mike Kosicki, not a, sh- a bad and pick. A shitty tight end. Fuck, my team is so bad. Mm. Am, I long, am I wrong for liking Logan Thomas? I don't love him, but I don't hate that he's fallen this far. Like I'll Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. What am I doing here? Eh, I want another running back that'll get some touches. Never had more auto picks in my life. Terrace Marshall. I like that. Yeah, send trades. I saw that you have him in our Dynasty League. I send like him. trades. I like him not so much this year, but like Dynasty for the future. As soon as Robbie Anderson's gone, I love him. Send trades. I might. You want Dak? Straight up. <laughs> I'll think about that. I heard someone offered me Dak in uh for one of my dynasty leagues. It was Dak. I had to give up Burrow, Fields, and a first. Yeah, Burrow, Fields. Burrow, Fields first. Burrow, Fields, and a first for Dak? Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. Not even close for me. No. Yeah. It was, oh, no, I wouldn't even do Burrow and Fields. Me either. I'll just keep the two quarterbacks. You'd do like Fields and a first. Maybe. Yeah. At that, like, I'm... Like, I like Dak, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, but like, I, think, I feel like people are like putting him into that elite tier, but I don't know if I actually believe he's an elite I need to see him be back in that elite tier. Yeah. Like, he, he, he's coming off a big injury. Everyone's, like, forgetting. Like, I'm not really worried about the injury, per se. Broke I just, his like, fucking don't ankle. think he's the most skilled quarterback. I mean, in that offense. No, he had a great offensive line and weapons. In that offense, he's going to be great because the pace is so high, but. He's worth know. the fantasy like, price. Long, what if, what if, okay, so Kellen Moore is the reason that pace is so high. He runs such a high-paced offense, but. Kellen Moore, OC, he gets hired as a head coach next year. What happens to Dallas's offense? Well, what happens to Dak? He goes back to being quarterback eleven or some shit. You know yeah, that's right. Also, I mean. offense, a really good offensive-minded OC, they get swiped up. 
I'm speaking from a lot of pain and experience with Kyle Shanahan right now. Troutman. Irv. There you go. The perv. You got your answer. Evan Ingram. Who? Me? Oh, why would you tell him? <laughs> you what dirty you great fucking You content. dirty dog. I'm actually so pissed. <laughs> you just told him. Let's see. Which, which of the picks did Animal actually make with a sober mind and with his full attention? The first four only. Did you even make that pick? <laughs> I don't know. The fir- the Who did you did you want Rager there? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. It says nine seconds and then it says one. It just like True. goes so fucking True. fast. All right, so let's see. We got I went Jalen Rager. Irv Smith goes right after. Trey Lance. Naheem Hines. What's your uh, what's your thoughts on drafting those kind of guys in in these best ball leagues like Justin Fields, Trey Lance? I I find myself not think you that. have to have a couple with them just for the fact that if they become like what everyone thinks they will be, like you have a very good chance to win because you get them so late the value. You yeah, know? but it's like you're also you can get quarterbacks that are starters right now. Also, I like getting them if you're getting like a stack and you have like a Kyler or something that you can actually yeah. start every single week until they actually start games here i don't hate because it's like the end of the 12th round but i feel yeah. like some people take trey lance like in like the 10th round and it's early. at that point you could still but get like tom brady i, I feel like round. the thing with trey lance is this the rushing upside is so huge yeah like trey lance i think is in in for in my brain a little bit of a different like tier i would understand fields. taking trey exactly trey lance like a little bit before justin fields i would understand it almost because there's so much more upside i think there. just the fact that the team is overall it's just a better team yeah better coach better everything um Justin Fields, dude, he might not start until, like, week eight. He might not start at all. Same thing with Trey Lance, he'll obviously, start. but. He'll start. Yeah, we'll see. It's definitely one of those things where I wouldn't go heavy on it, but I would definitely, you got to you gotta have a taste. You got to have a piece of it. And when you're on the clock. I'm, I don't know who to pick. I hate, every, I hate, I hate the 1-6. I said it earlier, I'm, like, always, feel, it's fucking terrible this year. Don't draft from the 1-6, guys. There's no one to fucking, everyone sucks. Uh, I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick. I can't fucking can't do it. It's more, it's not letting me get the fucking. It's gonna take Paris Campbell. Who to take? Gerald Everett. Jesus Christ. You don't like Jeff? I thought I thought you liked him this year. I just didn't want him. You just like you just keep taking players and just keep saying oh, I just wanted him in the. I didn't 15th take him. Round. That was auto draft. I'm trying to click. Stop fucking auto drafting. You know I tried drafting. to click wide receiver and it clicks off of it. Then you then put the <laughs> mic in your left hand and click with your right. I can't do it with my left hand. So much better. Because you know what happens when you click the one, you click one tab, and it clicks off all the others, and it leaves just that one open. Then I go to the other one, and there's two there, and I can't get the guy. All right. All right. We got two quarterbacks. Oh, uh, who took Jonu? You motherfuckers. What a terrible team I have. Is you looking at? It's a good pick. I like I it. Like Shep. We just keep hearing bad shit about Kadarius Tony. Kenny Galladay got hurt today too. Yeah, it's a sick world we live in. I mean, you, it's hard to be excited about any giant player at all, other than like a Saquon. <clears throat> but I mean, you talk about the thirteenth round, probably the wide receiver one on his team this year. I don't like. I don't. I don't hate it at all. Who's that? I'm wondering about St. Brown. I like that pick. Send it. Oh shit! Shit. How about this? Uh, you were hoping I didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> what does it matter? You think I'm gonna take your fucking guy? I'm hearing a lot. I'm hearing a lot of good, uh, little sexy report action out of uh, out of camp on Brian Edwards. I'm in. Yeah, I'm I don't. In. I don't see how uh, Rugs will continue. I like Rugs too. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not in on Rugs at all. It's, it's a good pick. COVID? Yeah, he's on the list. I feel like everybody's on the COVID IR it's a, list. Right it's now. a big list right now, the COVID list. Yeah. It's like more of a problem than it was last year. It's a big list right now. All right. I'm coming up on the clock. I'm going to be ready for my pick this time. Are we underestimating the COVID list for in season? Or you think they're going to be like less strict with it and like let people hide it? I don't really know. To be honest more people are getting it this year than they were last summer. It's like way more spread around. This shit could like really pour into the season. I feel like our settings that we made last year were like dramatic for So dramatic. For like the COVID Did I time out again? No, you're on the clock. Oh my god. I just saw it go zero and I was fucking 
Woo! All right. I want a I want a running back, but they all they all suck. There's really not any to take. Hey, that's why you go uh, J.K. Dobbins early and you just forget about running back. That's why you do it. That's why you get that high end. High end, touchdown <laughs> upside. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know who to pick. Right? I got seven seconds to pick. Ooh. I'm not looking at all who's going off the board or anything. I'm just like saying, oh, I'm on the clock Ooh. with nine seconds left. Who do you take? Why not Derek Carr? Over Ryan Fitzpatrick? Daniel Jones? Zach Wilson? I'm not taking any of those scrubs. Kidding me? Uh, so who went after that? Rashad Perriman, Buzz, Ferkser, I don't hate, MVS, I don't like it, Cook, old, washed up, Daniel Jones, shouldn't have, uh, taken him, because Derek Carr is better, uh, let's see, what else we got, uh, three rounds left? That's a lot of stamina <sighs> Dude, to go like, these. my team is, this isn't, I don't hate this, my team. I don't really like my. What's your uh, projection right now? Does it tell you? Honestly, I think the only thing that matters with that is how many quarter. Like the more quarterbacks you take, the higher your projection. Is that true? Just, like if you're a three quarterback team at the end of the draft, you're usually the highest projected team. Yeah, but that's like, stupid because right, mine's twenty five, twenty eight right now. Ugh, that's not good then because mine's twenty three, twenty three. So if you're like already two hundred ahead of me and you only have one quarterback, I have two. All right. But that still still not good. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I will openly admit right now that my team is not the best. This was not my strongest. Paris draft. Campbell to keep coming. I don't know if I could take anyone in Indy right now. In the fifteenth round, though. Anyone? Hey, uh, Paris Campbell or Christian Kirk? <sighs> I think Kirk got hurt today too. Something happened with him. I don't even know what they. They didn't even say like. It was like an injury thing. They were like, it was. Uh, I think they're just like, this is a bust ass pick. We're not. We're no, they said like uh, Christian Kirk. Um, fuck, did they say? It didn't even make sense. Like he's due. He lead some. I don't. It was nothing to do with like injury. Like he leaves. I hope due. the report was better than what. It was the, a very terrible saying. report. So I don't even. Uh, I don't know what happened, but Christian Kirk, yeah, something. So. Sharp took my uh, Deshaun Watson handcuff for Jalen Hurts. Uh, that's actually kind of a sharp pick. Because when Hurts gets moved to Houston, then you have two starting mobile quarterbacks. Is Hurts, uh, I mean, is, is Watson, do we feel like Watson's going to play this year? No. Because I don't think he is. What do you mean? We, uh, you got your boy. This is getting out of control. That's like seven auto picks. Just tell me I'm on the clock. Just look. Yeah, sure. Who would I take? KJ Hamler? Zach Wilson. It's a good pick, seeing as I have Jerry Judy already. I think KJ Hamler, something happened to him today, too. He did a video, um, you know, the old, uh, like, uh, Fantasy Files videos? Like, draft me, like, pick me, and they would, like, do something cool. KJ did- Hamler placed on the reserve COVID list. <laughs> No, 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 no. He did a video today about uh, with the football. That's what happened. Yeah, but he had two footballs. Yes. Cole Komet. Great pick. You won't regret taking a shot on Cole Komet. I need a running back, and they're all fucking terrible. At the beginning of a poem, Animal? I think it was the end. (laughs) Yeah, I would say... Blake Jarwin stinks. I'm going to take him. Fuck. There's, there's like no one left on the running back list that you can actually pencil in for touches. Half no, you're just you're like, just reaching and hoping someone's going to fucking pull something out of their ass. You're hoping half of them make the fucking Bill team. Bill Blinsey returns to Pro Bowl form. That'd be sick. He's probably going to rush for 450 yards this year. <laughs> in one game. And then that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I remember I got really excited about him again. I had him on my roster, and he had that like 160-yard run. I was like, finally, he's back. <laughs> He went, and he went oh, back boy. to wherever he had been for the entire six months prior. The turf toe store. Oh, boy. I honestly don't even know if James White makes a roster. Geo, same thing. Shot Penny Dude, stinks. James White's a lock. And you know who I really like? <laughs> a goat. Malcolm Brown scoring six touchdowns this year. Yeah? Malcolm Brown's a good, good ball player. I'm telling you, he's going to end up scoring... Six six touchdowns this year. Put that shit in Sharpie. How do we feel about Jake Funk? 
<laughs> I haven't talked to him since like high school. He's like, <laughs> he's not doing so good right now. I'm, well, only, I'm only saying this because obviously we know Cam Akers is out. Daryl Henderson is set to take over the uh, starting role, but he's not going to get like a bell cow role. So there's going to be other touches involved for running backs. I'm not saying like, hey, Jake yeah, Funk's but, the guy you should draft, but, it's but like, should I draft him? <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, I know who I should have taken. <laughs> oh, come on. I have 14 seconds. And make a pick. Pick your boy, Marlon Mack. The left-handed pick is in. <clears throat> it's my boy. The fucking Astro Van. Well, you don't like that pick? <laughs> Not particularly. You, no. you know uh, McDermott's been talking about him a lot. Who? Saying good things. Who's McDermott? Uh, How good is McVay. He? Shit. Uh-oh. I've been time. waiting on this moment. Oh, I know who uh, I want. This is my bad. boy from Madawan calling right now. <laughs> uh, Madawan, New Jersey. Madawan. Madawan. How are you not going to answer that? He's in Madawan. It doesn't matter where he is. It's a beautiful thing about technology. <clears throat> we connect everything. I think I have a problem where like, I, I, go? I love like the wire. I like wide receiver threes that have like upside potential. But they don't ever really hit their upside. So maybe they don't. Maybe you're actually just choosing ones that don't have the upside potential. <laughs> like Darius Slayton's a guy I like still kind of like. I guess I don't hate that. Right? Like I, there's yeah. something about like I see his name, like I kind of want to draft him. But is he even the wide receiver three there? No, but like he, he's, he kind of is, but he's not. Like I don't really so know. He, so I'm saying I have that like problem. Oh, you missed on Ben. Yeah, you do. You care a lot. I also, uh, I I recently made a dynasty trade. I traded Nico Collins for Sterling Shepard. I liked it a lot at first. And, like, now I'm seeing all these reports every day. There's a new fucking report about Nico Collins, like, the best wide receiver in Texans camp. Obviously, it doesn't really mean anything. I'm not, like, worried about it. But you sound kind of worried. I'm a little worried about it because, like, is this fucking guy going to be good? He might be good. He might be pretty good, right? I think Anthony Miller's the GOAT, though, there. I haven't given up on a, a mill. He's in the Bears. <laughs> we got traded to the Texans. Did he? Yeah. When? Last week. Oh. That's why it doesn't matter. Yeah, someone overheard you. The sharp heard you. You're out of your mind. All right. What we got? I got to go with the running back here, even if it sucks. Even if I don't like the pick, I just need a running back on the squad. Got to get one in here. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I needed a running back to get another one, throw him in there. That's it. We got one more pick in this draft. And, uh, shit. Do I finish with. Do I go with another wide receiver? Or should I. I feel pretty safe in my quarterbacks. Who are your quarterbacks? Rodgers and Carr. Like, this is the only, like, decent part of your team. Like I could take another, I don't Tony like taking three quarterbacks in best ball. That's why. That Tony, what the fuck are you doing over there with four tight ends? You got four tight ends, bro. Every single. But the rest of your team. Unless. Oh, okay. Suck. <laughs> Animals like, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick, dude. <laughs> Dawson Knox, Molly, Ali Cox. Hey, see the problem is like it go through. This all suck. Oh, everything you said. see the problem with. It's your go-to. Yeah. The with, you're so negative. Well, Maybe that's why. I'm very negative today with the fact that I had four or five auto drafts. Imagine help. you guys letting Quadra Allison fall to me. Go. One more pick. We've got a wide receiver it up here, I think. One. I can't put anybody in the cubes. I don't trust these fuckers. Two I'm blind to my left eye, Nick. You don't worry about me. Is that factual? Damn. Senate with 10 wide receivers, nine wide receivers. Yeah, I, I'm trying to debate right now my last pick if I want to go with... I don't need another wide receiver. I have eight. Yeah, they suck, but I don't need another one. Does I want to I take another running back just for, like, the uh, the insurance here. I'm going to do a... Uh, i get real crazy here. My whole team's already shot. <laughs> so, I, I got a great pick coming for you. This is how you end a best ball draft right here. All upside. I like that pick. It's the only good pick you made so far. Yeah, I don't hate that actually. 
Can't wait to see what Animal does with his last pick. It's already queued up, ready to go. Seth Williams. It's uh actually so here's the thing with this pick is it's obviously a reach for sure. It's a uh How can you it's, reach in the eighteenth round? You know what I mean? It's a reach as in like a I hope this fucking guy <laughs> plays and fucking <laughs> performs at any level at all because he's not even on a team right now. Uh, oh, he's not even on a team right now. <laughs> it's just Todd Gurley, Frank Orr. It, it, it's Todd Gurley for oh sure. Yeah, Zach Ertz already went animals. So it's it's an upside pick. Listen, how is there upside left with Todd Gurley? He doesn't even have a fucking knee. Dude, that's the upsides. I just got to hit. Getting I just got him in the 18th <laughs> round. If he comes back in his half of what he was. He wasn't half of what he was two years ago. Half of what he was last year of a winner. <laughs> if he is half if he of was, what he was last year, he'll be RB60. <laughs> yeah, and I got him at last fucking, year. He's, I got him at RB90, so I'm good. <laughs> he's paralyzed that if makes he's half of what he was last year. More than one-third of what he already Also, if now. you look at the rest of my draft, it's fucking shot already, so you need to you need to take some chances like that in order to, to have a chance. I'm, I'm looking at this team right now and going, that was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, as, long you as, you, as long as you had fun, Animal. I didn't. Because you didn't no, get anything you. else out of it. I, I honestly had no fun doing this draft at all. No one told me I was not. You know what happened? As soon as Tony got in this draft, he fucking ruined everything. I was set for a nice three-man. Let's fucking have a chat. Let's talk. Let's talk it out. Let's draft. Let's, you know, engage. This fucking guy comes over here and just... Doesn't sneaks into word. the draft, doesn't say a word, <laughs> looks at me while I'm on the clock, smiling, doesn't say a word. Fuck you, Tony. I back up everything he just said. Felt very uncomfortable drafting next to Tony. Adam Humphreys, that was a good pick. I saw that. <laughs> I like him this year. That's a good pick. Dude, I like him this year. Ooh. Okay. Like I was All saying right, before, that's the highest going back to my like wide receiver had. three thing. Uh, one of my best ball teams. <laughs> <laughs> Who's projected to win, me? Uh... Oh shit! No, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-two hundred. Let's go. How many? Thirty-two hundred. Three. Yeah. Every. I, it's the people who have three quarterbacks. Fitz they project hurts. them highest. Well, Jake. Uh, Tony just said that. I don't know why I said Jake. I well, he took Jalen three shitty earlier. quarterbacks. Tony took four quarterbacks. He took four shitty quarterbacks. <laughs> Dude, I'm just projected for twenty-five hundred points. Three starters, though, at least. But, this is, yeah. this is, you know what's fucking crazy about basketball, though, is like. You'll look at my team right now and go, this team is fucking shit. Let's see what and then, the like, I'll be in, like, second place, like, week 10. You won't be. I promise you that. I might be. I can't believe you picked fucking Todd Gurley. Dude, what are you going to do, like, a week from now when he signs to the team? The I'm going to tell good. people not to pick him up. I'm going to tell Todd people to pick him up. I'm going to tell everyone to pick him up. You know what you should do? You should pick up your fucking phone, go to the App Store, download the Underdog app, or you can click the link, first one in the description, and get on there. How much are they going to deposit, Animal? Uh, $10, and you will get 20 fucking five. On top of that. So $35, you can do 11 $3 drafts, get you prepped for the season. You have $2 left over. You could donate it to Animal. You could donate it to uh, people walking around raising money for their basketball team, and you can get custom names on the back of their jersey. Just make sure you use the promo code BDG, whatever you do, okay? That will get you entered into the NYC BDG Draft Weekend giveaway. You can have fucking so much money on your damn account. You could... Uh, Basically, pay your mortgage if you get in drafts with Animal. Animal, you'll start tweeting out links to your draft soon, right? Problem is, you need nine animals to draft against, or eleven animals. So, I mean, one of me, yeah, it's good. I fuck up half, you know, a little bit of the draft, but you need we'll eleven any, more. We'll take any edge we can get. <laughs> it's true. I'm trying to take a picture of my whole team right now. It's it's not working. Why? To send it to Ike so he can, like, can post our three teams at the end of the video. You know. All right. Oh, you want to do a snacks pantry? <laughs> you, yeah, which, what's Jack, your list? A Jack's Pantry? A Jack's Pantry. Jack's pantry. <laughs> you got a good topic? You got a top five list anywhere? Uh, of snacks? Of anything. Top five anything in the world. Top five. You say something dumb like cars or something? No, I don't. I, don't, I can't have strong opinions about cars. They all drive. Love, um, love that. It's snacks. good energy. Top five movies? No. No. Top five. Does it have to be Gotta something, be something like, like nation like, interesting? Like personal like, yeah. to you. Like you would probably have to think about it beforehand. Like snacks last week. Like was, I should have premeditated this. Yeah, yeah. you should have known. Um, like snacks did top five things to do on vacation last week, and like one of his was fucking okay. zip lining. Like a terrible pick, but it was really bad. Per it's personal so to bad. him, though. You can do that in a lot of backyards. You could just the like States. I did that at like day camp. I was like, you could do that across the United States. In in backyards. Oh, like, I thought you meant you know, literally oh, across no, 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 physically. Like, Maybe it'd a take a long thousands, ass time. It'd be insane. That'd be cool. It takes so long. But like, like a fast one. Came with a zip line. I feel like you get. Serious? 
I feel like you're underestimating board. just how ridiculous that statement was. That most like backyards have zip lines, like just a little one between two trees. That's a clothesline. I just you can I've, get them for like, like they hang their so you hang your hang blankets. their laundry on. I need, my, yeah. I need a they fucking zip line. You don't fucking <laughs> I'll go you don't from zip down line here to house. They live in the Let's burbs. Go. Oh lord. Um, do top five boroughs in New York? Do you have a list? Love that. <laughs> yeah. There's only like three boroughs I'll ever step foot in. So. I'll start off with. Hey, uh, don't sleep on the Staten Island Yankees, dude. Oh, they were number one for me. Uh, Staten Island was going to be my first one. <laughs> Manhattan dead last. They have a Dairy Queen right in the where the the ferry gets in. It's a good Dairy Queen. Fuck yeah. Um, we have a Dairy Queen in our town. It's like one of the only fast food places we had. That'd be a good snacks pantry. Like best fast food places in yeah. Emerson. Literally only Subway and Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, Boston Market. Uh, there, we have like a really obscure group of fast it's food. It's a like small chain town. So you'd have to go like the area, but then you're too big. Does y'all's area similarly glorify Wawa? Nah, we're quick no, we check. Wawa's bi- Wawa's by us. We're not even like really a quick in check Jersey? area. We just have a quick check in our town. Yeah. yeah. They just started building Wawa's by like Wawa's. Wawa's more down like more like west and oh, south, like Jersey. south Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Okay. North Jersey, you don't good, fuck though. around like with that Wawa. We got 7 Elevens and Quick Check. Better than Sheets. Yeah, I don't really have a strong opinion on either of them. I yeah, feel like people's like whole personalities are built around like Wawa yeah. and Sheets. I'm like, like it's fucking, a fucking gas station. Get your fucking $4 sandwiches and it's get a gas the fuck station out of here. there. Fucking yeah. shitty ass cold cuts. Big dumb bitch. Um, you know what would be a good snacks pantry? Like a good uh, candies at the checkout line. Oh, like those last second ones that you grab? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kit Kat. Yeah, like Kit Kat, Reese's, even like Skittles, I feel like can make can't, it list. Can't fucking go wrong with a Kit Kat. Yeah, no, Kit Kat's a good spot. I don't know why, but like Cosmic Brownies popped into my head, even though I don't like them at all. <laughs> That's like a lunch, uh, like yeah. when you're like in fifth grade fucking snack. Yeah. Like you dump your brown bag out and like you I had see the oatmeal cream like, pie cereal, by the way, like two weeks ago. Good? Yeah. What do you expect? Yeah. It's exactly what I expected. Yeah. I was glad I had it, though. You, it's one of those things you have to try. Like I tried those Krispy Kreme... Uh, Popcorn, smart food. Yeah. It's like Cracker Jack, but not as good. Yeah. This is like a bad Cracker Jack. I think they're all just like anything that's like sugary like that is just a little bit extra brown sugar. They just pour on it. Yeah. Just chips and brown sugar game. Blouses. All, all right. right. So I guess I don't know if we're going to have pictures of all our teams for you guys to see, but you'll be able to yeah, see it will. somehow. Um, the, um, you know, you can vote in the comment section whose team you think is the best. Screenshot of it. Don't. Don't. You know, don't lie. Don't hesitate to pick me <laughs> just because I had a couple auto drafts. It doesn't mean I'm done. So uh, take a look at the teams. Any tips for me? I'll also take those too. Any tips in the comments to help me uh, be a better fantasy player? I'm always open to those. So please send them my way. Uh, we don't have snacks to take us out this week, but uh, Jackson, you got any final words for the episode? Yeah. End us. Fucking finish us, dog. Yeah. Listen, man, there's nothing like. Uh Drafted between two of the biggest sharps over here, between Tony and Nick. Um, <laughs> I was hoping you. Um, I was hoping you left me yeah, out of that. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm not. In, I'm not between. Listen, I can't be a special guest on the show without getting down on my knees a little bit. Like I feel you. you know, we'll wait for the camera to be off though yeah. for that. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I mean, best way to draft is completely distracted talking to animal. Listen to how bad his picks are and being like, oh, maybe I. All right, the show's over. I don't like, like the slander. That.